Changing part colors in an assembly is very similar to the method used in part documents. We can make changes to faces, features, or bodies of a part. The one important difference is at the assembly level we have the option of changing the part color for only that instance in the assembly and not have it reflect back to the original part document. This means you can have as many instances of the same part in an assembly as you like and each instance can have its own color, making it easy to tell them apart. For example, here I have this assembly with three instances of the same component. At the top of the color palette, while in an assembly document, there are these two buttons here. I'll select this one called Apply Changes at Part Document Level. Remember the filters we used earlier to select specific areas of a part such as face, feature, body, or surface? Well, they're right here. So, I can select a face of a part and change the color. Notice the face color changes in all three parts. And if I open the part in its own window, you can see the original part file has changed. Let me switch back to the assembly again. I'll select the other option now, Apply Changes at Assembly Component Level. The filters at the left have become grayed out. And when I try to select the face of a part again, notice the entire part is selected. Why is this? Well, the reason is that at the Assembly Component Level, we can only make changes to an entire component. The benefit to this is that applying color changes to a part at the assembly level will not reflect back to the part itself, allowing multiple instances to have different colors. Notice the original part document only shows the color change that was applied with the Applied Changes at Part Document Level option selected. In addition to changing the part's color, you can also change other visual properties such as transparency which operate the same way, either at the part or assembly level. To remove assembly color, make sure you have the correct options selected, and then select the component to remove color from and click the Remove Color button. Something else very useful in assemblies is the ability to hide components completely. If a component is in the way and you want to hide it, Simply right-click on it in the Feature Manager tree and select Hide. The component is still listed in the Feature Manager tree with an outlined icon telling you that it is hidden. To show the component, simply right-click on it again and select Show. Hiding can also be accomplished by right-clicking any of the component's faces and selecting Hide. One more shortcut method of hiding and showing components is to use this icon in the assembly toolbar. You can select the component from the graphics area or from the feature manager tree and click the icon to hide and to show the component.